good morning. I'm stood here on Daubeny footbridge. There's Bramble in the distance, the bright one. Um, and in a couple of hours, the engineer is coming to do the engine servicing walkthrough, which I've really been looking forward to the last week. Um, and I've got here a couple of hours early to, um, to do a bit of a tidy up really, because it's quite cluttered in there. Um, and I'd quite like to move everything away from the engine side of the boat so that there's enough room for two people to comfortably be stood there. I'm also going to be running the engine for a while and uh, I'll turn it off about an hour to half an hour before he gets here. Um, and that is so the oil uh, is warmed up because I think we're going to be emptying the oil um, and it makes it, is it more or less vis viscous? I think it's less viscous. Um, so it, it makes it more, fl it makes it flow more easily is what I'm trying to say. Hello again, as you can hear, the engine's going, the fire's roaring, uh, so it's warming up nicely in here, and I think I'll switch off the engine in about, what's the time? In about 20 minutes, uh, give it time to cool down a bit. And uh, yeah, now I'm just having a general tidy up, trying to clear the space around the engine bay, um, just so there's enough space to work. So I'm gonna completely declutter this side, and hopefully down here as well because uh, that might be a good place to sit or stand for either of us because there's really not a lot of room for two people to stand here um, so that could be that could prove handy if I put a stool there uh, I've also put these two parasols and lashed them together at the tops I'm, I'm trying to cover all bases I'm now just about to meet Keith um, I won't film this bit but uh, I'll set up the camera once we get back to Bramble I did end up filming this great little engine demonstration. Right, the piston comes down, and as it does so, the inlet valve there opens. The piston continues down. At this point, it starts to return, but I want you to look at the slot there. As the piston comes up, it's going to push the air through that slot into that small chamber there. At that point, a tiny drop of diesel is squirted into the combustion chamber here, where it immediately bursts in, uh, into flames, uh, simply because of the heat of the air. There's no spark, no spark plug, nothing there except the heat of the air. And that then uh, comes out, that flame comes out through that slot there at about two miles a second and pushes the piston down. At this point, the, fly, the weight of the flywheel takes over, it's cast iron, and the piston comes up, and at the same time, that valve closes. So both valves are now closed. That one is now opening, and it blows the exhaust out there. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Induction, compression, ignition, exhaust, four strokes. We started off by pumping out most of the old oil. I was told that it looked like it had been in there for many years. We then got ready to take the old oil filter off. We did this by putting a tray underneath to catch all the drips. Right down low. It's a bit tricky getting the right camera angles to do this. Not just that, but it's quite awkward anyway. In hindsight, I would have removed that panel to make access a bit easier. Get it the right way up as quickly as possible to stop it dripping. And poke your finger down the hole in the middle. That's the easy way of carrying an oily, slippery filter. That's it. Poke your finger down the middle. And then you can get a good grip on it, see? Never put a tool on it when you're tightening it up. They, they say an additional turn, that's about as tight as you'll get it. Is that so you don't damage it? No, the seal swells up and jams it on tighter. So if you make it really tight and it tightens up, you need a hammer and chisel to get it off. Right. right so we are putting some oil on the seal. It's, it, you can no longer turn it with your fingertips. Yeah. Half a turn. Yeah, I think I'm about right. Yeah. And then we'll check if it leaks afterwards. So the next thing we'll do is whip the fuel filter off. 
What you could remember with that is upside down. Okay, right, so, so it needs to go. go the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Think about it, sat on your head. So, yeah. <laughs> We turned off the fuel supply just before taking the fuel filter off and I could get easier access to that through the hatch above the weed hatch. Fuel filter looks like. Yeah. I'm and you see what happy. I mean look, that's red, look, like yeah. red wine look. Yeah, that's the way the fuel should look. Like red, like rosé. I've been assured that this is how the fuel should look. This is red diesel. Looks, it should be as the same colour as and as clear as a good rosé. And uh, before coming to Bramble, we looked at a a uh, fuel filter that had had a diesel, diesel bug, bug mm -hmm. uh, and it was covered in sort of grey slime. Yeah. Uh, so I'm quite happy to see that this looks quite clean. Quick. We've got that in the end. There's a, 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 a sort of ruler on the back of the container that tells you how much you put in. Yeah. See, smooth as you like. You've got it there, you don't need a funnel. <laughs> Yeah, I it's it's a lot smoother than the last time I did it. A friend of mine took me up to the first lock on the Canal de Midi and um, to meet the lock keeper. Yeah. And he got a phone call while we were there and he just burst out laughing because an Englishman had turned up to say he was stuck in the fromage. <laughs> To be loosened. They've got to be loosened, in other words, screwed down towards the back of the boat, and you tighten these to here one turn at a time. Yep. And it's vital that that cap there is the same as that cap there. Yep. In other words, those that and that are parallel. Yeah. Right. So you need to loosen that one. A bit more resistance. Okay. Just give them another half turn for luck. That's it. And here's a... Um, there's a bit of sign behind it. Yes. Engine surface is all done. Um, all of the old oil has been taken out, new oil has been put in. Um, we've changed the filters and we checked the tension on the belt. Um, I don't think it needs a new one yet. Um, I've been advised to do another oil change um, in a couple of months uh, because the old oil had been in there for a very long time and it was very sooty. Uh, try and keep it really clean. To do another full oil change, another an hour to empty it. I'm, I'm feeling a bit more confident about the uh, the engine in uh, in general. Thanks very much for watching, see you soon. Mm -hmm.